Hello everyone, this is me, Sakya here, and I'm back with the third week of uh, March reads start from the 15th through the 21st of March 2023. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, Scorpio. So Scorpio, let's see what is coming in for you for this week time. I will be adding critical cards and color cards in this reading. So stay tuned and before I dive into the read, let me remind you it's a general read, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on the email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see. We have our first card here, which is Four of Souls. Um, I really feel like, you know... Um, somebody wants to communicate to you. Um, or maybe you want to communicate to someone uh, that you haven't spoken to for quite some time. Um, there has been a lot of struggle. There has been a lot of uh, disagreements in the situation. You really want to talk to that person. But in a very guarded way is what I'm picking up. You don't want to reveal your true self, just that you want to communicate. Wow, I never picked up this energy with this card here, but uh, it seems like, you know, this image here and this card, it seems like, you know, somebody wants to say something, but in a very guarded way, in a very protected way. So, you know, they don't reveal too much of themselves in, in that situation. Um, it can be you feeling that way towards someone. It can be someone else feeling towards you that way during this uh, week time. So you might be taking action towards someone or someone might be taking action towards you during this week time. Um, let me put the card back. Let's uh, keep shuffling and let's see what else is coming in for Scorpio for this week time. Let's begin. The Hangman. Wow. Ten of Wands. Okay. So I really feel like, you know, if there has been a situation that was on a standstill, there is some movement coming ahead for you in that particular, wow. Page of Cups, let me take some new, uh, some more cards first. Eight of Swords and the Star. And in the deck, we do have Queen of Swords. Wow. I really feel like, you know, for the majority of you, there has been a stagnation in your love life for the specific someone. Um, there was no contact situation, probably for majority of you, or even if there was contact, it was pretty much no contact kind of a situation where the two of you were not talking much, a lot is not really, like, you know, being spoken about or, you know, expressed about uh, within this connection. I really feel like, you know, um, if you had been having some issues with your person because of the delays, because of the commitment issues, because of the delay issues, because of the responsibility that you probably have on your shoulder, uh, I really feel like, you know, things are going to change now. I really feel like, you know, for a majority of you, uh, the stagnation is going to get over. This, this burden of the past, this burden of the responsibilities is going to be taken off your shoulder. So you would be able to kind of like, you know, take action towards someone who is right now cold towards you because you have been cold to them. So if there has been a situation where you have been unable to give and invest into the connection and that person walked away from you, I really feel like, you know, you are going to be taking action towards that person, unblocking yourself from taking out, you know, that time from, you know, from the busy schedules that you've been following. You are going to be taking action towards someone that you love, someone that you have feelings for. But at the same time, like I said earlier in the very first card here, I really see you taking action in a very guarded way where you're not going to be revealing much about what you're feeling. But at the same time, the intentions behind are very clear. There is love, there is uh, feelings, there is emotion involved but yes you still have some mental physical emotional blocks around it so you might be taking action towards a specific someone during this week time and you are going to feel guided to take that action towards someone that person whoever it is that you're dealing with right now are like uh, definitely kind of uh, um, holding themselves back from you right now this person can be somebody that you have been for quite some time already, uh, somebody that has spent a lot of years with you. I really feel like you know they, they are done with this stagnation here that has been happening in the connection between you and them. Um, I really feel like you know you were the one who blocked yourself from um, you know or stopped yourself from taking action towards this person. You are keeping yourself away from them. Right now, I really feel like you know, you're gonna feel like no, you have to talk about it. You have to express yourself out. But at the same time, you're not going to be telling them all that you want to say that to, you know, to that person. But 
at least you are going to be talking to them. I really feel like, you know, this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, um, they are kind of like, you know, doing their own thing right now. They are not talking to you is what I'm picking up for a majority of you. But I really feel like, you know, if they have been trying to reach out, communicate to you for many times, I really feel like, you know, they probably have stopped doing that as well. Because I really feel like, you know, they really want you to take action towards them. They really want you to be mature enough to take action towards them, mature enough to express your feelings to them, mature enough to take things next level, letting go of whatever that was stopping you from taking action towards this person. I really feel like, you know, this person is silently manifesting you as well. Uh, for majority of you, I really feel like, you know, they might have stopped talking to you because they wanted you to take action. They wanted you to take the connection serious. Even though they have prayed about you, they affirmed about you, they have trying to man they have been trying to manifest you. But at the same time, I really feel like you know this person right now is kind of like you know completely detached from you emotionally. Um uh, until unless you come to them or you go to them, this person is not gonna be opening their heart up to you. So even if they have whole they have feelings and emotions, they are holding it back to express to you. Why? Because they, they want you to take action towards them first. They, they don't want to get ignored or neglected. They have been there. They have been like, you know, suffering uh, all this time. They really want you to value them. They really want you to come as somebody who is, a, um, you know, a giver now. So I really see your person has changed and you are going to change towards them now. So for majority of you, yes, this person still loves you. And I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, the connection seems to be pretty much where it was. Uh, you love them. They love you. But right now, what is happening is you both are holding yourself back. And um, I feel like, you know, um, in this week time, I really see you taking action towards this person because otherwise you're going to feel stuck in your life, which is something that you are not going to let it ha let happen. You are going to feel like inclination towards reaching out to this person. Plus, you are badly missing this person right now and you would feel the urge to speak to this person and have the communication started. Let's see the earth, uh, sorry, let's see the color cards first. Let's see what the color, um, what color is going to be the, you know, lucky or significant for you for this week time we have our two colors already one is apricot rejoice and love number 20 apricot color is going to be lucky or significant for you for this week time it's time to rejoice and try time to laugh as well 20th of uh, this month could, month could be significant date for you 20 overall could be a significant number for you during this week time uh then we do have magenta number five connect to your deepest inner knowing the divine really wants you to know what is it that you truly desire from within. Don't let your mind stop you. Don't let your imposed blocks stop you at all. Take action towards whatever it is that you're feeling guided to take action towards. It's very important right now for you to know that you got to listen to your inner call around something that is like, you know, that is happening for you. Let's see uh, what is the regular guidance. What else do you need to be doing and not to be doing right now during this big time to have what you desire? The end of a tough cycle approaches for some of you could be dealing with a capricorn i really feel like you know the divine really wants you to move ahead in your life starting a new cycle new chapter with someone that you really love and care well care for um an ending of a tough cycle is definitely here and i really feel like you know as you take action towards this person uh just be mindful the energies could come reversed as well for some of you probably it's the person who is going to take action towards you but for a majority of you i really feel like you know it's you taking action towards someone and that someone is waiting for you to take action maturely towards them that and i feel like you know as you are going to talk to each other a new cycle is bound to come through because you both love each other mutually balance spirituality and practicality for some of you could be dealing with uh with another water sign specifically Pisces I really feel like you know uh for some of you probably your love life was affected by you not giving time to to your person but investing yourself into other responsibilities that you had which you are now putting an end to and I feel like you know as you're going to do that it's very important for you to know one thing that if you really want your love life to go smooth and beautiful you have to make sure that you are keeping the healthy balance maintained in your life uh, so you have time and room for love and then you have time and room for the other areas of your life as well equally let's see one more card here from the circle deck let's see what else is circle guidance wow so we have our card here which says okay we have two cards answer the call what is your soul calling you to do again i really feel like in a for majority of you you are going to feel the urge to talk to your person and if that happens it's time for you to take action um call back your power cut the card soul and tree uh, retrieval i really feel like you know it's very important right now for you to um 
Stop letting other things in your life control you and your emotions. It's very important for you to cut the baggage or cut the past out of your life so you could uh, follow your intuition or follow your inner guide. And I really feel like you know, for the majority of you, you have been dealing with a lot of shitty stuff which was either from the past or from the negativity that was you know kind of en engulfed in uh, that you were engulfed in and i really feel like you know the divine really wants you to protect from any negative energy around you or that you're surrounded with and so you could do what your heart is asking you to do for some of you your ego your your aggression your um your fear could also be the reason why you had kind of like you know done certain things it's time for you to break free from that take your power back if you want to do something you can definitely do that don't hold yourself back from taking action towards what you are divinely guided to take action towards to have the life exactly the way you desire so that's what is coming in for you for this uh um week time if it was of help do like share and subscribe and if you are willing to purchase any of the services uh, that I offer, check the description box for that. And yeah, till I do the next read for you guys, take care and bye.